The Indonesian Ristafel, Dutch pronunciation, Rista Afel, a Dutch word that literally translates to rice table, is an elaborate meal adapted by the Dutch following the Hadang presentation of Nasi Padang from the Padang region of West Sumatra. It consists of many, 40 is not an unusual number, side dishes served in small portions, accompanied by rice prepared in several different ways. Popular side dishes include egg rolls, sambals, satay, fish, fruit, vegetables, pickles, and nuts. In most areas where it is served, such as the Netherlands, and other areas of heavy Dutch influence, such as parts of the West Indies, it is known under its Dutch name. Although the dishes served are undoubtedly Indonesian, the Ristoffel's origins were colonial. During their colonial domination in Indonesia, the Dutch introduced the rice table not only so they could enjoy a wide array of dishes at a single setting but also to impress visitors with the exotic abundance of their colony. Ristoffel's strive to feature an array of not only flavors and colors and degrees of spiciness but also textures, an aspect that is not commonly discussed in Western food. Such textures may include crispy, chewy, slippery, soft, hard, velvety, gelatinous, and runny. History The Dutch colonial feast, the Ristoffel, was created to provide a festive and official type of banquet that would represent the multi-ethnic nature of the Indonesian archipelago. Dishes were assembled from many of the far-flung regions of Indonesia, where many different cuisines exist, often determined by ethnicity and culture of the particular island or island group. From Javanese favorite satay, tempeh and siroendang, to vegetarian cuisine gado gado and lode with sambal lilab from Batavia and Pranger. From spicy rendang and gulai curry from the Manangkabau region in Sumatra, to East Indies ubiquitous dishes nasi goreng, soto ayam, and kropok crackers. Also Indonesian dishes from hybrid influences, such as Chinese babi ketjap, lumpia, and baini to European beef s'more. And there are many others from the hundreds of inhabited islands, which contain more than 300 regional and ethnic language groups. During its centuries of popularity in Dutch East Indies, lines of servants or sarong-clad waitresses ceremoniously served the marathon meal on platters laden with steaming bowls of fragrant foods. The first to be served was a cone-shaped pile of rice on a large platter, which the server placed in the center of the table. The servers then surrounded the rice platter with as many as 40 small bowls holding meat and vegetable dishes as well as condiments. During its colonial heyday, the most celebrated Ristoffel in the Indies was served for Sunday luncheon at the Hotel des Indies in Batavia and the Savoy Homan Hotel in Bondung, where the rice was accompanied by 60 different dishes, brought back to the Netherlands by former colonials and exiled Indonesians and Indo-Europeans, Eurasians. After Indonesia gained its independence in 1945, the Ristoffel was predominantly popular with Dutch families with colonial roots. On the other hand, when Indonesia proclaimed its independence in 1945, nationalist sentiment promoted the rejection of Dutch colonial culture and customs, including the flamboyant rice table. Today, the rice table has practically disappeared from Indonesia's restaurants and is served only by a handful of fine dining restaurants in Indonesia. More of a banquet than a regular meal, the Ristoffel has survived Indonesia's independence, composed as it is of indigenous Indonesian dishes, and is served in some mainstream restaurants in Indonesia. A typical Ristoffel will have several dining tables covered with different dishes, while in some fancy settings in Indonesia, each dish may be served by a separate waitress. Since about 1990, Indonesian food has become part of a mainstream interest in Southeast Asian cuisine, and there has been a proliferation of Indonesian restaurants in the Netherlands. Typical dishes The following is a brief, but not nearly complete, list of examples of foods that may be found on a Ristoffel. Bobby ketchup pork belly braised in sweet soy sauce common in the Netherlands, a halal Indonesian version often uses beef variant known as samor. Bobby pongong, roasted pork in a tomato-based sauce. Bebek batutu, duck roasted in banana leaves. Gado gado, vegetables, cooked or fresh, with peanut sauce, sambal kakang. Krupik, shrimp crackers. Lemper – rice rolls with spicy filling Lumpia – spring rolls Nasi goreng – fried rice 
Nasi Kuning, Indonesian Yellow Rice Opor Ayam, Chicken Coconut Curry Perkettle, Meat and Potato Patties Pisang Goreng, Banana Fritters Rendang, Aromatic Spicy Caramelized Beef, Braised in Coconut Milk, Chilies, and Spices Sambal Iris, Onion, Tomato, and Chili Paste Sambal Kakang, Peanut Sauce Sambal Yulik, Spicy Chili Paste Satay, sometimes spelled satay, sat, or saute, various thinly sliced meats, marinated then broiled on a skewer, such as, sat ayam, chicken, sat babi, pork, sat lili, seafood. Sayur lode, vegetable stew, spicy, in coconut milk. Samor dodging, a type of stew of beef braised in sweet soy sauce. Surrundang, peanuts with sauteed shredded coconut. Tahu teller, tofu omelet Teller balado, hard boiled eggs sautéed in chili sauce Today Despite its popularity in the Netherlands and abroad, the ristoffel is rarely found in Indonesia. That is probably because most Indonesian meals consist of rice accompanied by only one, two or three dishes, mostly consisting of lock, fish, chicken, meat, egg, or other source of protein, sayur, vegetable, and other side dishes. To consume more than that number of dishes at once, a ristoffel might range from 7 to 40 dishes, is considered too extravagant and too expensive. The closest versions to rice table dishes readily available in Indonesia are local Nasi Padang and Nasi Champur. However, in Indonesian restaurants around the world, especially in the Netherlands and South Africa, the ristoffel is still popular. Today only a handful of dining establishments in Indonesia ceremoniously serve elaborate colonial-style ristoffel. In July 2011, the airline Garuda Indonesia launched Indonesian Ristoffel in executive class as its signature in-flight service. This Indonesian signature dining was meant to introduce the passenger to a wide array of Indonesian cuisine in a single setting as part of Garuda Indonesia experience. This in-flight Indonesian Ristoffel includes Indonesian signature dishes, choices of Nasi Kuning or regular steamed rice, accompanied with choices of dishes such as satay, rendang, gado gado grilled chicken rika, red snapper and yellow akar sauce, fried shrimp and sambal, potato per kettle and tempeh, also with karupuk or rempeyak crackers. See also List of rice dishes NASI Champur References Further reading Hulupi, Maria Enda. Rich Stoffel, Finding Enough Room for All Those Dishes. Archive, The Jakarta Post, October 29, 2003. External links Media related to Ristoffel at Wikimedia Commons